This yeah. conference will now be recorded. Sweet. I, Look I, at I, you. It's been a long time. Man, that beer looks good. Thank you. Thank you. It's been, been growing it out for a while. Wow. I wish I could grow a beer like that, man. You, I think you can. I don't think I can. You just gotta, you just gotta let it go. You gotta go for just it. Go for it, man. Just lean in yeah. and go for it, huh? Yeah. How you been? How do I mute? How do I mute myself when I cough? Hold on. Oh, that's uh, that little microphone there. You see it? A little green. Mi you know, you don't, you don't have to mute yourself, man. This is real. We're keeping it real for the people. I got it. Okay. We know everybody coughs. That's right. It's not good to cough right now, though. But we're not. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> we're not. In, we're not. We're not in person. That is true, man. What's up, dude? How, how are you, man? I am good, good, man. It's it's, uh, it's always good to see you, man. It's been a while. Uh, seems like our days at uh, J.C. Penney's uh, distribution center years and years ago. <laughs> God, dude, so long ago. So oh, long first ago. Job out of college. That was my first, I think that was my first real job out of college too. Yeah, you, you introduced me to coffee. That was the best thing ever. I know, Can we, you're welcome. You're yeah, welcome. Hey, I appreciate it because <laughs> I saved it many a times falling asleep in yeah. meetings while people are right across from me. So I appreciate that about you, man. I hey, you know, I, I, I've i known you all these years and I discovered something this last week. What's that? That uh, our daughters have the same birthday. Really? Yeah, your youngest and my oldest has the same birthday. I, I did not know that. December yeah. 5th, huh? December 5th. Get out. Small world. Yeah. Small so, world. dude, how's business? How's business for you? Business is good. Um, gosh, it's, uh, you know, with obviously with the corona and the pandemic and all that stuff, it um, just, you know, create other, create other avenues as far as obviously Zoom. Well, we actually do Zoom. I, I forgot how it got onto this whole go to meeting thing, but um, yeah, the Zoom calls have been great. You know, people, you know, still want to want to do business. People actually still like us, which is always a good thing. So, yep. no complaints, man. What about yourself? Good. It's better than expected. That's you good. know, probably better than I better than I deserve, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know nothing you know i started i started a business um a year and a half ago now and there's nothing like you know being six seven months in and a pandemic setting in hey, nothing you know, like starting it. a new company but but it's it's been good anyway you know we've got some really good clients and we continue to grow and you know i think next year is going to be even better so nothing nothing puts hair in your chest like a good pandemic huh right Right? That's right. Got plenty of that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, that is awesome, man. Well, I appreciate you taking the time, man. I have your busy day to do yeah. this. I know you're busy yeah. guy. I, di I didn't put on pants, though. But uh, you know what? Honestly, don't zoom out. We're good. <laughs> we, don't to, we don't want to see the legs, man. You're my first, uh, my first guy that uh, plays baseball. My first former student athlete that plays baseball. So that's oh, yeah. a monumental feat for the financial literacy for student athletes. So congratulations. I'm honored. Yeah. I'm honored. We try. Um, well, let me uh, go ahead and jump to my intro real quick. That's what I do. Um, what's up, guys? This is Pat Brown. I'm a financial advisor with Edmonds Duncan out of Lawrence, Kansas. Um, played football at the University of Kansas a number of years ago. Played outside linebacker and uh, started for three years. Loved my time there at the university, became very passionate about financial literacy for student athletes, and which led me down a path to um, interviewing former student athletes uh, with the hopes that current student athletes, hopefully you guys watching this, will learn uh, from these guys uh, what they did well and what they did uh, bad, and um, hopefully learn the habits while you're in school that will transition with you when you get out of school. Um, what I also like to do is just read the definition of financial literacy. Uh, which is the possession of a set of skills and knowledge that allows an individual to make informed and effective decisions with all their financial resources. And I typically cyberstalk, but you and I are so old, man, we don't have information on the internet. <laughs> I, I did know that you were, you were a big paid, right? 
I was. I was all big, all big eight. That tells you how, how old I am. <laughs> uh, that's right? before the Big 12, if we have any uh, current student athletes listening. So that's before the Big 12. The Big eight was before the Big 12. I'll so, mail you some uh, newspaper clippings. There you go. <laughs> no, it's not on the internet. It's not on the intro net. Yeah. Uh, but man, uh, you know, Casey Baird is my, my guest who played uh, baseball left. Uh, the University of Kansas, and uh, we we were there at school at the same time. We just didn't know each other until, ironically, until we uh, left school and work at our first job together, which was uh, J.C. Penney's <laughs> distribution center uh, back in the old days. Um, but again, I appreciate you uh, taking the time. Um, I guess we're just kind of digging to it. If if you yeah. can recall back then, um, you know, your your freshman and, and sophomore year. Uh, did you ever have any type of exposure to anything dealing with financial literacy, whether it's budgeting, whether it's savings, whether it's credit? Um, was that something that you were aware of? Did your parents talk to you? Anybody ever talk to you about that stuff? Zero exposure. Zero <laughs> exposure. Is that quick? Um, I def yeah, you know, I define my financial, you know, uh, literacy from college or the way I handled money as uh, clueless and careless. <laughs> I, I had no, I had no clue, man, like zero clue. And I wish I, I wish I had, but you know, I've learned a lot from those mistakes. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's learning from mistakes. And I had plenty of them. <laughs> you know? So yeah, I mean, freshman year, you know, you're just, like you're focused on sports and you know and adjusting to college life and you know figuring out how to handle classes and navigate all of that i wasn't that wasn't even on my radar and it was never you know it was never my parents never talked to me about that stuff so yeah. i was i was completely clueless you know ignorant and mm -hmm. you know i was pretty poor so i didn't have much money to <laughs> you know to, so to, with, to work with but baseball uh because i don't know that much about baseball did you guys receive any type of stipend or anything or was it just no wow. man we didn't get that football money um <laughs> <laughs> no man you know a, a baseball team and i think it's i think it's the same today as it was then you know you, you have 30 plus guys on the team and 11.7 full scholarships to divide amongst those 30 players. What the heck? So, 11.7? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And a full ride when I was there was considered books and tuition. And that's all you got, you know. Wow. And, and I was not a full ride guy in my freshman year, you know, wow. um, at all. Not even close. So yeah. I didn't even get books, books my freshman year. So wow. I had student loans. I had an academic scholarship. Um, yeah. And, you know, it was it was interesting. It was interesting. Wow. Did not know that that and you say it's still relatively the same now. I think it's the same. I think the number is the same. I think it's eleven point seven. Wow. OK. Yeah. yeah. Not, so uh, we didn't have training table. You know, we had to buy our own meal plans and yeah yeah it was oh, i feel a little bit better now man i hate to yeah. man oh yeah. okay all right so you know the decision which i think you just kind of touched on as far as your mistakes i was going to ask um you know those decisions kind of come with trial and error but you, you basically pretty much said yes yeah, you know made your mistake and learn from it and move on yeah i mean it was probably i consider college one big financial mistake you know like i didn't i didn't ever get into um wealth management or financial planning or learning about that stuff until you know probably until after we met honestly wow. yeah you know and i was just i was i was clueless and did not understand that stuff and um you know i it was it, it, it was week to week for me in college for sure, yeah. you know, <laughs> uh, and and I, I was never good at budgeting, but I've learned, you know, those are, I'd like to say I'd change it all, but I wouldn't because I, you I've learned. taken those, yeah, I've taken those mistakes on with me and, you know, as, as a, you know, a more mature individual who has 
you know, done plenty of hiring, had people work for him, mm -hmm. um, including, you know, recent college athletes, you know, uh, I've, I think I've imparted a little wisdom and helped, yeah. help people get on the, the right path earlier than mm -hmm. they would have. Yeah. So, and that's, that's directly, you know, I directly attribute that to the mistakes I made and, <laughs> and my wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's, it's interesting you say um, sooner than later. And I think that's, again, when I started this little passion project, I think that's the main thing I, I really want these uh, student athletes to really learn is just, you know, if someone can come in and, and kind of explain it, you know, hey, here, here are the mistakes. Let's go in and get, you know, uh, this talked about now. That way you can avoid, you know, majority of the mistakes and, you know, you're going to be better off yep. uh, later on in life. So uh, I, I couldn't have said better. Um, so what was the worst financial decision you made in college and what was the best, if you can think of any? Um, I, I, I watched a little bit of Ike's conversation with you, Ozzy Bird. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, I too, I too got, uh, you know, I, I too wanted that free t-shirt on campus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I needed, I needed clothes, man. That's um, right. Pack of you know, Skittles. I, I would say, yeah, right. You know, like I had no clue about credit cards or anything, you know, then. And and that's my biggest piece of advice to, to people now is just stay the hell away from those, you know, um, <laughs> for as long as possible. You know, you might need it for business or something, but sure. you just, just stay away from them. But yeah, I mean, signing up for that uh, free t shirt, I wasn't even thinking about the card. Maybe. You know, I signed up for that. I got my T-shirt, and like a yep. couple months later, credit card showed up in the mail. You yep. know, and yep. um, you know, I played music and played music back then, and our little band needed a guitar. Guess what I did? Yeah, went piece right of plastic. Mass Street, went right down to Mass Street Music and bought a guitar for the band. You know, yep. and you know, when you aren't making money and you <laughs> you don't have a job, it's hard to get out from underneath that. You know, and it took a it took a long time for me to get out from underneath that. So I would say that was my that was my worst mistake yeah. in college for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, and it's easy, me, it's you. and it's real easy. Sorry to jump on you there. No, but it's real yeah. easy. You know, when you're a college student, don't have any money, and you got that credit card right there to you know, and your buddies are going out and you know, and you want to go too, but you don't have any money. It's real easy to use it when you should, you know, for stupid yeah. stuff. And I did that. I was guilty of that for sure. So, so as far as um, is there any decision that you think would were great decisions? I mean, looking back on it now, or would you say really can't think of much? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, definitely no great decisions. You know, mm -hmm. that jump out at me. You know, they're I, I really can't think of any. You know, I, it just I, I don't know that there were many great decisions to be had. You know, <laughs> just learning from your mistakes, honestly, baby. Honestly, honestly, man, like, you know, it was just, it, it was week to week for me, for sure. You know, and I think, you know, I missed the opportunity to make a great decision uh, when I used the credit card and I should have. <laughs> you know, so. gotcha. Okay. Um, cool. So, and you probably touched on this one, but looking back, at college now, what do you wish you would have done different in regards to dealing with your money? And I would imagine it's not getting that t-shirt on West Coast Beach. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, I mean that that that's a big one. But you know, I did have I did have student loan money that mm -hmm. that was in the bank, and and I really wish that I had learned to budget then. You know, just to and and mapped out a plan. You know, mm -hmm. for for the money, I just winged it. I just winged it. I'd pay pay what I needed to, you know, for whatever it was, you know, rent, you know, electricity, all that stuff. And I just I just winged it. I didn't have a budget or a plan um, or a process, and I really wish I had. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, you know process it's it's interesting you, say, you use that term as well so you know as a student athlete i think we're also um used to processes you know that's essentially how we got to where we got to as far as you know working out you know going to workouts 
having a game plan for the actual games. Um, everything was structured, but you know, when it got to financial literacy, we didn't have a process. We never, there was never a process put in place mm -hmm. and our mindset was never as such. So it's, again, if we can just get guys to kind of, uh, you know, learn those habits early and create some type of process, again, the better off they'll be. Um, totally agree. So then how have the habits you formed in college affected life after college or has it? Uh, like I, like I said, man, learn from my mistakes. You know, I value, I, I value money now, you know, I, it, <laughs> and it's really, well, you know, it's just, I respect it. I respect yeah. money and credit and wealth, you know, and, um, I, I would just say I've learned from those mistakes and reversed them. You know, I've, hmm. I've, I've managed to save some money, you know, we pay cash for things. We got our retirement going, you know, you go. um, bought a home, you know, a couple of times. And, <laughs> um, you know, I, I, so I, I think I've reversed those habits. You know, yeah. I used, use that pain that I went through the first couple of years of being out of college to, to make things more comfortable and make smarter decisions. Yeah. Yeah. It seems to be a thing. Uh, it's good that you learn it sooner than later. You'd be surprised. Some, you know, some guys it takes a little longer to yeah. get from underneath it. Yeah. Uh, I have no doubt that I'm not alone in my experience though. <laughs> you, you know, you're not the only one of the support group. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> um, Okay, so here we go. That'd be yeah. weird support. That'd be a really weird support group if I was <laughs> Hi, my name is. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Casey. Uh, so, you know, what are some of the pitfalls? And again, you, you touched on this, but what are some of the pitfalls you would hope your story could prevent to young student athletes out there? So a young Casey Barrett, you look back, say, hey, Casey, don't do X. Yeah, man. Like, I think, I think, I think the big one in college is, is staying away from credit cards and learn how to budget. You know, those, that, that just sets you up for success. You yeah. know, if you, if you use credit cards and you don't have money, you're behind right out of the gate and you're digging yep. out of a hole right out of the gate. And, um, and if you don't know how to budget, it's going to make digging out of that hole twice as long. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, you know. So, if you if you walk out of college debt free, you know, or without credit cards, and you get a job and you're making money, you can you can start saving. You can start your retirement early. You know, mm -hmm. you can start building wealth and preparing yourself to buy a home. You know, so <clears throat> stay away from stay away from the credit. Learn how to budget. You know. I, um, I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty simple. Yeah. You know, when you're in college, cause it's, you, there just aren't a lot of, there isn't a lot of life, you know, uh, there isn't a lot of life there, like making things more difficult or more challenging in terms of decision making and what you're doing, you know, um, you're just, you're just eating and hanging out with your buddies and playing sports <laughs> and, you know, trying to get better and, you know, get decent grades, you know, get through school and, yeah. And it should be you should have the time and and the the capabilities to, you know, to ignore the credit cards and learn how to budget. Yeah. And if there's yeah. a financial planning class or you know, budgeting class or wealth management class, take it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Enroll and take it. Yeah. No, that, that that's right. That's right. Um so I was trying to think, so when you left KU, did you have aspirations as far as, you know, making it to the next level? Or did you get any shots or did that play out at all for you? No, man, I got, I got, I got hurt my senior year. I probably would have, you know, gotten to play mm -hmm. um, professionally, but I wouldn't have made it, you know, like it's, it's very clear to me now, you know, living, you know, through, summer ball and playing with guy a lot of guys who did make it you know it's i just didn't have that i didn't have that what it took to make it to the big league i probably would have toiled around the minor leagues for a few years and delayed my professional career you know and, and uh, my 
my business professional career. You know, I would have been a few years behind there on that. Um, you know, making eight hundred dollars a month and living in a hotel. Minor league baseball <laughs> is not glamorous. I promise you. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. so I'm glad. I'm glad that I didn't. I didn't. You know, ultimately sign and and play because yeah. I just I didn't have the command. I didn't have the explosive stuff. You know, mm-hmm. I just I didn't have that. Um, I could get people out, but probably only to a certain level. Yeah. Okay. No. Well, cool. Cool. So then get for KU, get through KU. Mm-hmm. After KU, after it's all said and done, tell people what Casey is doing now. Talk about your biz. What What are you doing now, man? Well, I own a staffing company. We, uh, we help, you know, we help companies of all size um, on a national level with staffing. And it's, we work with them in a few different ways. You know, we, we do a lot of IT staffing, which is we help them find hard to find IT talent, Mm -hmm. Um, you know, managers and directors and C-level people. They, they have things that they need to get done on a daily basis. You know, they have their own job. They don't have time to, um, to look for people. And it, it requires a lot of time and effort. And that's what we're good at. You know, we go out and we find people, whether it's direct hire, contract to hire, or, you know, we're, there's a, you know, one of Kansas City's fastest growing companies in in downtown Kansas City here. We've got 25 contractors working for them right now on a, on a project, you know, just doing project work. Mm -hmm. So we do staffing, man. It's a simple business, but um, it's challenging business. Yeah. Um, so we, we help companies and we help people. So we help companies get the talent they need and, and achieve the goals that they want to achieve and deliver on projects and, um, you know, those types of things. Um, and we connect people with really great opportunities, you know, for, you know, uh, career seekers, professionals who um, are looking for that next step in their career. We help connect them with those. Um, And that's really, it's really gratifying. You know, it's really gratifying when you put something in front of somebody that they didn't know existed um, and changes their professional life, changes their uh, home life, their, you know, their, their financial life, their well-being. So it's, it can be a pretty cool business to be in for sure. Oh, cool, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, man, I appreciate your time again. Uh, yeah. It's always good talking with you, man. I don't talk to you enough, man. Yep. Yeah. I, I totally agree. When this pandemic shuts down, we're going to have to get together in person. That, that sounds like a deal, man. I definitely want that. So, all right, brother. I'll see you in about seven or eight months. <laughs> that sounds about right. That sounds accurate. <laughs> all right, man. Well, I'll let you get going, man. It was a pleasure talking right, with you. Uh, look forward to talking yep. with you again. Yep. I'll see you soon, man. All right. Take care. Later.